What's up, my Big Mac snack wraps? It's your boy, the Miggity 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 Mac, and welcome to another show. On today's show, we have a Wendy's mukbang. It's actually a Wendy's collab. Today, I am collabing with Kenneth Mukbangs. Um, I'm gonna tell you guys right now. Stop what you're doing right now. Like this video, and then I want you to go to the description box below, and I want you to go over there and click on his video. And I want you to watch this video, subscribe over there, and then come back, because I know y'all gonna come back. That's what I want y'all to do. Um, I'm gonna be going over there, and I want y'all in the comments, I want y'all to comment, um, and I know who y'all are, I know my subscribers. Um, so please go over there, subscribe, watch his video, his collab with me, he's also doing Wendy's, and we're also doing um, a story time, a paranormal, a paranormal story time. So yeah, so on today's menu, we have Wendy's, spicy chicken burger and a grilled chicken burger fries we have a peach lemonade and we have a frosty vanilla frosty we got some barbecue sauce back here so yeah we're gonna say a prayer y'all and we're gonna get into this amen let me just set this down right there because i know it's gonna fall i know it's gonna fall anyway um so hopefully y'all went over there and subscribed and watched this video. And now you're back to this video because I know y'all going to come back. I hope y'all going to come back. If you don't come back, we're going to have to have a talk. And if you didn't go over there and subscribe and watch this video and you're going to finish this video, that's fine too. But please make sure you go over there. Um, you guys are going to love it over there. He does all kind of foods like I do. Um, the only thing I've seen that he does that I haven't done is um like desserts. I've, I don't think I've done a dessert on the channel before, um, but he does desserts. He does fast food, homemade food, all that. His conversation is great. Sometimes I'm at a loss for words and I don't know how to keep his conversation going, but he's pretty good at it. And also he does ASMR as well. Um, some videos are no talking and some are talking and eating. So y'all probably gonna love it over there. I know y'all gonna love it over there. So boom, but we gonna get into this. I'm gonna eat first a little bit, then we're gonna get into a story time. I'm gonna try this, this is the grill. Now, this is part of the two for five, and I added um, extra tomatoes, on onions, and pickles, and I added jalapeno sauce. Boom, there we go with it. Oh. Mm. 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 To me, it has a little lemon, mm. a little lemon flavor to it. Mm. So how my snack wrap is doing anyway? It's the peach lemonade. Pick this up, y'all. We're gonna swirl a little bit. Then we gonna well, we gonna sip a little bit. Ooh, that's good. They know they can make some lemonade. Mm-mm. Mm. Mm. Look how big that chicken patty is. That is fire. Mm. I got some good barbecue too. Mm -mm -mm. Anyway, so shout out to Kenneth Mukbangs. He actually came up with the Wendy's idea. I haven't done Wendy's in a minute. 
but it's fire. Um, so we're going to get into a paranormal story. Um, I've had several in my life, I've had several what I consider paranormal moments. Mm. Like encounters with ghosts or what I believe to be ghosts. Um, so the first one is when I was little and we lived in my aunt's house. She had a house, like an old house that had history. And every so often we would hear somebody walking in the attic. Like real legit clear footsteps, like somebody was walking in the attic. Sometimes we would be watching movies. And then we hear somebody walk across the attic. We're like, what was that? And everybody heard it. It wasn't just like one person heard it and everybody was like, no, nah. we all heard it. So one night we called the cops up there. And of course, they went up there, didn't see anything. And consequently, we never heard that noise again. At least as far as I remember. Mm. So I don't know what to think on that one. But that ain't the only story. Second story, me and my family moved to this house, this, this nice house. We wasn't there too long. Um, we had just moved in. <clears throat> I'm a little itchy. We had just moved in and one day me and my mom, I think my little sister, we out in the yard, and a man shows up, like a, you know, like a homeless man, looking to be homeless. And he says he's hungry. So, my mom's like, okay, come to the back door, um, I'm gonna make you a sandwich and some food. So they, he's outside by the door, and she's talking, and you know, making a sandwich and stuff. And they talking, and I'm sitting there listening. And she gives them the food. And then, like, he get, takes the food, and then he um walks down the porch. And we, you know, follow my side, and she's talking to him. And you know, they say bye or whatnot. And we both turn around to go back inside. But then we take one last look to see, you know, where the man going. The man was gone. Like, we didn't hear no gate open. Our gate didn't open. So my mom comes down. She's like, where did he go? So we run to the gate. We look left and right, up and down the street. This man could have got far. It was all of 10 seconds from the time we turned around, noticed he was gone, to going to the gate looking. Like, man was gone. We don't know where that man went or what happened. But my mom thinks he was like an angel. Um, I guess trying to, I don't know, maybe to see if she would do a good deed. But that one was weird because he was just there. And he was like in, he was a person. He wasn't like a spirit or nothing. He was a person. And the man disappeared. 
And I was I was shocked. That scared me. Mm. Mm. Just a spicy one. Mm. Mm -hmm. Then there's another time when I'm about 18. We lived in an apartment complex. It was like a fourplex or quadplex, whatever you want to call it. My mom had an apart my apartment. I had an apartment. My sister and her husband had an apartment. And um, I think my other sister had an apartment or something like that. But it was gated and we lived there. Um, at night, we would go sit out. It was like an area where you could sit. So one day we was out there and we saw like somebody just standing there outside the gate, but they didn't have like a whole body. It was like an apparition. And we all looking like what the, I ain't gonna lie. I ran inside. I ain't got no time for that. You ain't got no whole body? Mm-mm. I ain't got no time for that. Mm-mm. I ain't got no time for that. Mm. I don't know about y'all. I like to dip my fries in the frosty. Mm. 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 Woo. Oh yeah. Mm. That's good. I know y'all like, ooh, but it's good. These, these burgers is good. Chicken burgers. Mm. Mm. And then another story. It's not really paranormal, but I kind of is. So. When I was little, we relocated to Fresno, California from L.A. You know, just like anybody, times sometimes get hard. So, we were, you know, we was, we were scuffling, struggling, whatever you want to call it, and down to our last little, little bit of change. So, our mom went to the park. Um, took us to the park because that was like our recreation. We lived right by the park. So, we went to the park. We didn't know, you know, how we was going to get any money or whatever. Um, we wasn't homeless or anything, but, you know, sometimes back in those days, when you got paid on the 1st and 15th, sometimes stuff didn't stretch all the way to the, you know, the next month. So, those last five days or so, at the end of the month, be hard. It used to be hard. Some of y'all know what I'm talking about. That's during the time when your mama be taking uh, time ramen. And she be throwing all kinds of vegetables in it, trying to make it gourmet. Or making all kinds of little, just little stuff. Yeah. But anyway, we went to the park. Now, we walked by this tennis court. You know, we looking. We looking. You know, we walking and we looking. Just looking like normal. And then we go sit down. And we just, you know, my mom's trying to figure out how she's going to get some money. Um, maybe she gonna call my aunt. But we didn't even have money to make a phone call. That's a fake phone. So she's like, all right, kids, let's go. Um, and we get up to go. And we walk by that same, um, that same tennis court. 
and there's money, there's like pennies, coins, quarters, everything, all on the ground, all over. And we're, we're like, whoa. So it's five of us kids and my mom. We start scrounging up all that chains. We over there picking up chains, putting them in our socks, putting it in our shirts, pockets, everywhere we can. We was, we was getting that change. And we got it up. All that change. She was able to make the phone call, call my aunt, see if my aunt could send some money. My aunt, you know, she come, came through. And we got, we, we said that, that was pennies from heaven. Because it really was. So we had walked right by that tennis court. Mind you, nobody was at the tennis court. It wasn't being used or anything. Nobody was there. And we're pretty much sitting at the tennis by the tennis court, playing in the grass. So nobody came by. And we got up to leave and walked past it. The money was right there. Mm -mm -mm. So those are my paranormal stories. I hope y'all enjoyed them. If y'all made it this far, leave like a ghost emoji in the, in the comments. And also, y'all, y'all come up with some story time suggestions or questions y'all want me to answer. This was, this was fun. Pick these up, swirl a little bit. Sip a whole lot of bit. Mm -mm -mm. Look at that onion, tomato. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. I also want to take this time out to um, say rest in peace to George Floyd. Um, you know, this is a mukbang channel, and I try to keep it, you know, very lighthearted, upbeat. But um, and I'm not going to get too much into it because it's a, for me, it's a touchy subject being a black male in America. Um. You know, in the, when it comes to that, my mind and my heart is not in a positive place. So, I'm going to just say, uh, rest in peace to George Floyd. It's, 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 it's sad because that happened, but it's not the first time, and it probably won't be the last time. And all I can pray is that next time it's not my time. And that's all I can, that's all I can pray about. I can pray for him and his family and everybody that has been affected by police brutality. I'm not gonna get too deep into it. I can, but I'm not.
I'm gonna give me some of this frosty. And then I'm gonna let y'all go. But first we gotta get into this, a little bit of this frosty. I know I did my fries into it, but. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's a little melt. It's melting now. That's good. Oh, I should have got a soda and then put some of the soda in there. What's our favorite soda to make a float with? Of course, root beer is good. RC Cola is good. Orange soda is good. Tastes like a creamsicle. Mm. Strawberry soda is good. I wonder what ginger ale tastes like with some ice cream. My nose is itching. I gotta slurp a little bit, you know, for the ASMR people. Even though I don't have an ASMR mic. But you get it. You get it. Mm, mm, mm. mm. Alright, y'all. That's gonna be enough of today's show. Thank y'all for kicking it with me. Please make sure you go follow Kenneth Mukbangs. Link down in the description box below. Go over there, subscribe, watch his videos, um, like them, comment, because I will be going over there checking and see, you know, seeing his numbers, seeing if they're growing, seeing if y'all went over there. You know, because um, we got to help each other grow. Yeah, we got to we gotta help each other grow. I'm so glad. Um, oh, excuse me. I did not do the um, the Dirty Dozen Challenge. Um, I, could, I couldn't really get the eggs. Because <laughs> um, I don't do like whole eggs like that. That's a lot of cholesterol in, in one egg. Um, and so 12, I, I me mean, personally, it's not my thing to do. That's a lot of cholesterol. Um, but I was trying to find some like egg whites couldn't find the egg whites couldn't find eggs and I couldn't find thick cut turkey bacon because I eat turkey bacon so I didn't do that but I'm so glad so many people did it um we needed something to pull us back together because I feel like we've been as a community in a slump for the last in 2020 um literally at the start of the year we kind of went into a slump um and I'm so glad a lot of people participated in that challenge we needed we needed that so shout out to be loves life and shout out to prissy p and ray sean we needed that and i thank y'all for that um oh yeah prissy p i will be doing the uh two times spicy dumpling challenge so 10 two times spicy dumplings in 10 minutes i gotta beat her time you know i gotta i gotta i gotta do it i gotta do it i'm sorry prissy i got to, I got to do it um but yeah i'm gonna do that and also, I'm going to do the Flavor Eats. I know I'm late. The Flavor Eats 20 McNuggets and 10-Minute Challenge. I'm going to do that as well. Um, so, y'all stay tuned for those videos. All right, y'all. If y'all made it this far, please leave a chicken emoji. And, yeah. So, until we eat again, my little snack wraps, I'm going to say peace.